All right, folks, going up I 75 to Chattanooga. Of course, resting right of the Chattanooga Mocks out there, the Southern Conference. Coach, going to talk to you again. How are things going up there in Chat Town, man? Good, beautiful day today, and had a good practice, so it's a, it's a good day. Yes, sir. Coach, let's talk about the, the, this past game with the Citadel. Um, got a big win against those guys. Let's, let's, let's talk about how getting they have to get young guys to play time as well, getting more guys on the field with that big win you had, just trying to get the season on, on track for you guys going, going forward here. Yeah, you know, it was good. Um, right now we're a little better off than those guys are. we just in a little better shape than they are player-wise, and our guys played like they were supposed to. But the biggest thing was, like you said, was we got a lot of guys in the game. We played a lot of young guys uh, – had a couple of guys complete their first pass and get their first touchdown, which was uh, pretty cool to see for them, you know, a little reward and stuff for them. But we played – I think we pretty much – I think everybody that dressed out wound up playing in that game somehow, some way. And, um, you know, it's always good because those guys work hard too. They they don't, you know, necessarily get all the opportunities as other guys do or as much playing time. And that's the thing we <clears throat> we try to tell our guys. This isn't rec ball. Nobody, you know, you don't necessarily get your quarter or your inning or whatever. It doesn't work that way here. And we play the best guys we can play. And sometimes you get to play and sometimes you don't. And um, that, But that's life, too. I mean, sometimes you, you get things and sometimes you don't. And, um, you know, but it's good to see guys that work hard get an opportunity to go play. 100% coach. Everybody's happy after that kind of a game. So, coach, I think you have to clean, clean up some things as well. Nothing was – was perfect, but like you said, Coach, getting able to see your guys execute, coming off a tough win against Kennesaw uh, the previous week. So seeing you guys come out the way you did uh, another yeah. weeks, get going one one zero again, uh, playing the way they played all all game long from, from first string, second string, third string, and that's make you feel very 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 good and improving your team in your team already. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is, um, I think we've gotten better every week for sure. Um, we have to continue to do that. We've got a lot of guys, not a lot, but a fair number of guys playing for the first time, and and you have to watch them, and they have to continue to grow. And, and it's like we talked this morning. We have to continue to grow as a team and and figure things out as a team. It's not just figuring things out on offense and defense and in the kicking game. You kind of have to figure all those things out as you go because. Um, every Saturday's different. I don't care where you're playing or what level of college football you're at. You find different ways to win football games, and you have to be able to do that as a team. No one, no one spot's more important than the other. They all have to work together to try and get it done. No doubt, Coach Wright. And I can say, you know, you come off a tough loss week one to both Alabama with a new coach there, but they put that Gus Miles on kind of kind of offense, make where you have to count for every guy on the field. They can us all stay doing what they're doing, transitioning up to FBS next year, beating them at home by a touchdown. And now you said this week is a little we a little better than, but it's coming together. So talk about just that early versus losing that first game, but the bounce back factor and just showing how you guys are building that little tough with that callous to be tough week in and week out. Well, I think the biggest thing is, is you don't change who you are, or what you are, you know, um, at the end of the day, I mean, you, you have to, we got a plan, we stick to it. There's a certain way we want to do things and there's a certain way our guys are coached and we, we try to teach and get across, uh, but you don't change who you are, or what you are. I mean, at the end of the day, and that's what you try to impress upon these guys. And, and they were disappointed for sure. They were disappointed after the first week, but I think, if you don't learn from those things as well, you're doomed to repeat them. And uh, I think that's what this group doesn't want. And and we talked about it along the way is like, it doesn't matter what the outcome is right now. Let's go practice and prepare to give us an opportunity to see what the outcome looks like. But when you don't do those things along the way, the outcome's already determined for you. I mean, you're, you're not going to be successful. And that's why you have to go about doing things the right way week in and week out to give yourself a chance. And I think it's very important where a lot of new guys on a young team is enjoying the process. You know, that's one thing that my father <clears throat> taught me as a young age coach, right? It's just a football, you enjoy the process. So every day you go out there and you do your thing, you try to get better every day. What about that part for a young, young, young group? Guys, understand that process of every day. It's a process. We go on the field, weight room, in the classroom, and or in your sure. position room. That everything is is a building block to our next step, which we will get W's on Saturdays. 
Yeah, and that's uh, that's a hard thing. Young people have a hard time seeing right now because they just want the end result. You know, <laughs> yes, it's uh, we, we we play the video games and we you know we swipe till we see something we like, and then it's right there. It's the end result. It's not it's not doing the work to to get yourself in that position. But I mean, that's the thing is that if you're in any endeavor worthwhile, it doesn't matter if it's a business, if it's football, whatever it is, you have to put the work in to get the end result and. Um, that's a hard thing for young guys when they first come out of high school understanding because the most of them come and they're the best player on the team and they didn't have to work like that and do those things. And now you may just be the best player at your position for us, but there's somebody else out there better than you. I mean, that's just the nature of it. And you have to work hard to, you know, to get ready to go up against that guy or get ready to beat that guy out. And it's, it's interesting. We talk about trying to enjoy the journey as much as you can, but I, I, I get mad at them all the time. They talk about the grind of it. I was like, nope, it's not a grind. We signed up for this, okay? We yeah. we signed up to go play football. We signed up to go to school. We signed up for that. Nobody forced you to sign anything at any point in time to go to school anywhere. And so we have to enjoy it. We get an opportunity. That sun was shining beautiful this morning. We get an opportunity to go out there and, and practice and do those things. For most folks, get to work, you know, and, and, and get that stuff done. And I tell them all the time, don't waste the day. I mean, don't don't waste the day. You're not going to get – the only guarantee is we're all going to walk off this earth at some point in time. Don't waste it. Enjoy it and try to live it every day as hard as you can live it. You got that right, Coach. Testify on that, Coach. Let me ask you this, man. Um, talk about Chase growth as a quarterback for you, man. Uh, man I think he, he's playing with, with more boys. He's going through his progressions and his reads the right way. Think about how, what you've seen from me every day on the practice field and on the game <laughs> field as well. Well, you know, we put him through the through the test in the spring. We made him live in the spring because it had been a while since he'd been in a game, so we made all the quarterbacks live during spring practice, and it was good. Um, you got to see him get hit. You got to see him get back up and go play, uh, which was, you know, that's always a concern when a guy hadn't played in a while if he'll stand in the pocket and take a take a shot and throw the ball down the field. But he did that during spring practice. And, you know, we started in the fall. Um, he worked his way into being the guy. And, you know, the, the thing is, is – you just don't ever know how somebody's going to react under the lights. I mean, that's the thing. Practice is one thing, and we've all been around guys that are really good at practice, and then they can't play in a game for whatever reason it is. And it's a bunch of different positions, not just quarterback. But uh, Chase has handled things very, very well, um, and he's gotten better every week. Uh, he works really hard at being a good football player. Uh, he works off the field just as hard as he does on the field. He's a smart young man. He does a really good job of reading defenses and seeing coverages and understanding where to go with the football. And um, he's made the guys around him better, which is always what you want when the quarterback's out there playing. So I think um, he'll continue to grow and get better. And, and I'm excited to watch him, you know, finish out this year and, and next year with him too. And then you just get his hitting on uh, Jamoy J- 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 Mays a lot, man. So so talk about that, that, that young man. This is how, how he's playing for you right now. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's the thing is Jamoy had a good week last week. Um, he has all the tools to be a really good football player and has grown and matured in the last year and a half, two years to do that. Uh, but it's been a different guy for us at receiver every week, and I think that's the one good thing about it is we've had three different guys leading us in receiving yards every week. <laughs> and But Jamoy's had – Jamoy's been consistent. He had a good year last year, and, and – He's picked up where he left off, and I think he has an opportunity to have a really good, you know, a really good junior year for us. But uh, he's got all the tools. He's got to be consistent all the time and 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 be that guy we need. You got a, a, a lean float forward on, on the ground too, so you got kind of got the air attack and the ground attack going at the same time. So talk about that, having him going as well. If you make defense have to decide, do I stop <laughs> Mister Ford or do I stop Mister Mays and all the receivers, or just give Chase options all over the field? Well, that's I think that's one reason we're playing a little better on offense is you you know, last couple of years we had a hard time throwing the ball down the field, but um so everybody was crammed up in there in the box, you know, not letting us run the football. And uh now we're able to do some things in the passing game and give ourselves an opportunity to do some things with Chase back there and those wideouts playing better that hopefully They've tried to make Chase beat them the first two or three games. So it's been interesting to see how defenses are. And the more I think we get into this, I think the more different things we'll see. But um, Alem had a good game last last week, and I think that'll continue if we can continue to keep spreading the football around. 
And coach, you have to be happy with the defense as well. They're flying around, Fox, they're flying around out there on film, and uh, they 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 playing connected on, on on that side of the ball as well. So look about the defense as well, seeing those guys improve as well and doing what they're doing, getting you the guys the ball back on offense. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a um, we were disappointed after week one. I just didn't think we played with the eye discipline we needed to, and 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 those things that led to a bunch of issues of us not being able to play fast and. Um, we don't do enough schematically defensively not to go play fast. That's the one thing we work hard at is trying to keep uh, things things down to a minimum for them defensively so we can play as fast as possible. Because when you do make mistakes on defense, if you're playing fast, at least you can make up for them. But those guys learned. Um, we started, I don't know, three or four new guys, you know, defensively in spots uh, the first week. And they've continued to grow and get better. We're fairly young on that side of the football I think there's only three seniors that truly play a bunch for us um, over there. But, you know, I, I like the way we've played the last couple of weeks defensively. We've got to get better. We've got to understand. Uh, we've got to stop giving away so many big plays and just easy plays, I should say, not necessarily big plays. We we have people in position and spots, and um, we'll play really good for eight snaps, you know, and then the – second or third series will let one play and it not be very good when we have to be consistent in doing those things and making people beat us instead of us, you know, missing a tackle the wrong way or, or, you know, being out of a gap by just a little bit, you know, we have to, we, we've got to get that stuff ironed out, but they, they've worked hard. They've worked hard trying to get better and, and do those things. And coach, what do you see from, from Sanford on film as you play those guys this week coming up here? <clears throat> what do you see from those guys on film and what challenge would they present to you guys? Well, it's probably the best looking football team in our league for sure. Um, they've got guys that look the part, they can play the part. It's an old group. I think there was, I think I counted yesterday, 50 seniors or grad transfers on that team. So I'm not, I'm not sure how long senior day will take for them when they get to the end of the year. It may take them a couple hours. Uh, but it's a good football team. They, they've, uh, it's a, it's a group that's won a lot of games in the last couple of years and, they play at a different speed than tempo than, than we do. So it's hard to simulate that during the course of a week. So you have to get adjusted to that quickly on defense. And then for us offensively, they give us a different look compared to what most people in our, our league do. So it's a little different variation with a free hitter uh, in the middle of the field. So we'll have to uh, be buttoned up on some things and, and um, you know, we'll have to go over there and play well. We will we'll have to play well. It's a good football team. I mean, it's probably the, most talented um, team in our league, top to bottom, player-wise, for sure. Um, you know, just what they have with the quarterback back and then the guys they have around them. So, uh, even defensively, they probably have the most talent of anybody in the league. So, it'll be, a, it'll be a challenge, but I think our guys will be excited and looking forward to getting over there. And, and Coach Wright, one more for you. Um, uh, talk about how important it is for you to – Locked down a Chattanooga area, the tri-state area of Georgia, Alabama, and Chattanooga, and coming down here in Georgia and getting key guys on your roster because with you being around the line so close to to, to us and then get finding the talent down here that GJ fits what you guys do up there at Chattanooga. Yeah, you know it's uh, those areas have always been big for us. It's when it's um, when you can get down to Atlanta in an hour and a half, hour and forty minutes. I mean, it makes a difference. You know, moms and dads can come see them play. Um, they know they're at college, but they're not gone too far away. You know, that's, that's the other thing. Um, we play a lot of games in this area, so everybody gets to come watch them more than, more than once or twice during the season. Um, we recruit Alabama really hard. We try to, we try to work the state of Alabama really hard. Those guys have been really good to us. We've gotten good players out of Alabama. And then, you know, you always try and take care of your home base to, to get kids and those kind of things, but it's getting harder. That's, that's the one thing people don't get is, you know, guys want to go to college. They don't necessarily want to stay at home and go to college. They want to go to college and they want to go experience that. And um, we're actually in a good spot. If they do go do those things and they want to come back home, we're actually in a good spot for them to do that. If things don't work out. So and knock on wood, we've been very fortunate. We've had some guys do that, that we've recruited that possibly didn't get to start with that have went to bigger programs and come back and they just, you know, want to come home and let, you know, I want to make sure my mom gets to see me play, you know, and that's the thing is, uh, but I get, I get more than the experience college and go somewhere else. I went four hours away from home. So um, I understand not wanting to be, you know, right there in your backyard and seeing everybody every day. You want to go, you want to go be your own man. You want to go do your own thing. And, 
And um, so it's, it's getting a little harder to keep kids closer to home, but that's okay. I mean, that's, that's part of it too. And we'll take the ones that want to stay here straight up and then we'll get them. Hopefully when they don't, if they don't like it somewhere else, we'll get them on the bounce back. Yeah. It's why it's important to get a bit of leaderships early coaches. You and I both know that because like you said, some kids not getting happy where they're at, they can, you know, opportunities that they're there. Wait, waiting on you to come back. If you know with that staff, they have a bond with already. Yep. Yep. For sure. For sure. But Coach Wright, thank you for your time again. As always, I hope to talk to you again later this year when you get that FCS playoff berth and we'll be about to make a big run, Coach. All right, well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Anytime, Coach. You be safe, man. See you soon, man. All right, will do. All right.